Good morning, good morning, everyone. How's everybody doing? Hope everyone's fine today. Praise the Lord. This is Rarotonga Miti, Evangelist. Thank you so much for watching, wherever you are watching, from all over the globe. God bless you all for watching. It is well with you. Our scripture reading for today is from the book of James 1, verse 15. Then after desire has conceived, it gives birth to sin. And when sin is fully grown, it gives birth to death. Our theme for today, receiving wisdom from God's word. In the previous verse, James made it clear that temptation to sin always comes from within ourselves. It's never God's fault. No matter how terrible our circumstances are, so the desire to sin is still ours. We are tempting ourselves to sin, so God provides trials and ordeals as a way to exercise our faith in order to make it stronger. Amen. The lure of giving up, sinning, and defying God is not the purpose of His will. Here James warns us of the consequence of giving into our desire, which is falling into sin. When we say yes to the desire to do what we want, instead of trusting God and obeying Him, sin is born. Then sin grows up and produces death. Amen? Sin always leads to death for those who are not in Christ who have not accepted God's free gift of forgiveness of sin, who have not been born again to a new life, that death is permanent and eternal. But even for Christians, sin brings deadly consequences. Later in this letter, James will write that when Christians succeed in turning each other back from sin, they save each other from death. Amen. James 1 verse 2 to 18 begins with a challenging commands for Christians. We are to classify hard things in their lives as, you, as joyful because those ordeals help us develop a deeper trust in God. Amen. Christians who trust God also seek wisdom from Him and not from ungodly sources. Amen. We continue to trust Him through difficult experiences in part to receive the crown of life promised to those who don't stop. We don't blame Him for our desire to sin, but we do credit Him for every good thing in our lives. Amen. Praise the Lord. How important is it for Christians to trust God? It's so important. James writes that we should call our worst uh, moments joyful things because trials help us trust God more. People who trust God ask Him for wisdom and then take what He gives. People who trust God make a bigger deal about their rewards in the next life than their wealth in this one. Amen. People who trust God don't blame Him credit for all that is good in their lives. But they look into His Word and get act on what they see there. God bless.